Hi. Are you for the beer and donut tasting? Great. My name is Kayla. I'm your host tonight. What's your name? Awesome. Nice to meet you. I love your shirt. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so it's your first time here. Okay. Well, what we're going to do tonight is taste four different beers. Um, they're paired up with four different vegan donuts to complement their flavor profiles. Yeah. Um, but before we get started, did you want to sign up for, uh, trivia later? They're doing the office trivia. Yeah. Okay. It's, um, oh, it's five dollars a head and then winner takes all. Okay. <laughs> Do you like the office? Me too. It's a great show. And, um, oh yeah, after that, in the back room, they're having a Mario Kart tournament. It's also five dollars to join, and, uh, winner takes all. Yeah, awesome. Which character do you usually pick? Cool. <laughs> I pick, uh, I pick Toad, but I'm not playing tonight. I'm just going to be watching. Awesome. Um, and also, I know we're about to have some donuts, but in case you get hungry later, we don't have a kitten. But there's two food trucks parked outside. They're going to be there all night. Um, one of them is a Mexican food truck. It's called La Zacarilla Veggie S. D. The SD stands for San Diego. Um, they have an amazing mock shrimp taco. And uh, they can turn the heat if you want also. Do you like spicy? Cool, me too. Yeah, it's so bomb. Um, and then the second truck tonight is Anthem Vegan. They have like diner style comfort food. Like a mock cheesesteak or vegan mozzarella sticks. They're so good. I probably could be going out there later too. <laughs> um, let me see. Is that all we need to cover? Do you have any questions before we get started? <laughs> no, unfortunately, uh, we're not allowed to swim in a vat of beer. I know, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, so. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. Um, the first beer we have is by Modern Times. This is their Black House beer. This is actually a local beer from San Diego. Um, it's a nitro coffee with coconut and cola. They have like a retro coloring on their cans all the time. It's like a 1950s kind of look. And to go with it, we're going to be having this uh, coffee hazelnut donut. But yeah, all the donuts are from uh, Nomad Donuts. Uh, they're located in North Park. Okay, so let's see what we're supposed to experience with the first beer. So the appearance is going to be black with slight ruby edges. The head will be thick, creamy, and tan colored. Lots of lacing. Literally look like a milkshake. Not a whole lot of car carbonation. Um, and it will have a nice appearance, that's what it says. My boss set up for us. Um, Alright, so let's pour it out. I 
Okay, so I'm gonna, I pour it on the side and then like a little bit of swirl in the middle to give it the head. Roma will be a, a lot of coffee, dark chocolate, and a touch of coconut. Oh, actually, here, here's yours. Alright, so let's smell it. I definitely smell the coffee. sweetness, faint coconut, and finishes with roasted malts. Cheers. Mmm. It definitely tastes a lot of coffee. Mmm, that's really good. Alright, let's pair it with our donut. One's for you. Alright, let's have them together. Mm. Oh wow. The flavor of the beer really changes after you have the donut. Mmm, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, the flavors in the beer. Um, they come through more. That's so cool. Okay, let's have our next beer. Oh, actually, um, we're supposed to go for the mouth. <laughs> the mouth was light-bodied and smooth. Did you think so too? doesn't say. That's alright. Okay. Yeah, they have like cool little Nintendo art on it. I like it. Alright. The Legend of Nilla. The appearance um, is going to pour out pitch black 
and forms a pinky with a khaki color crown. A pinky with, oh, like, pinky. I thought it was like pink colored. A pinky with a um, khaki colored crown. of this beer is pitch black with a tacky colored crown. You can see that. Yeah, it's very dark. All right, the ear is yours. Tastes a lot stronger than the first one, I think. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's try it with the donut. We're going to be pairing the Legend of Nilla beer with this peanut butter and jelly. You can see a um, little peanut butter crumbles on top and the peanut butter cream and it's filled with what I think is raspberry jelly Okay, this one's yours So good. Can't go wrong with peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> how do you like your donut? Okay, let's see how it pairs with the legend of Nilla. Mm. That's so good. I wonder. Tastes more like beer, the other one. The other one tastes like almost like carbonated coffee because it was so strong. But this one tastes more like a regular stout for sure. Yeah, this is just vanilla and coconut. Mm. Tastes really good with the donut. Taste 
and oak and vanilla tingling together beautifully. Chocolate figs and dark dark fruit to play a nice background. Marshmallow aspects in there as well. Very subtle and balanced. Slight bourbon warmness, but very well contained and not cross crossing into burning. Yeah, it does taste super boozy. And the mouth is thick and it coats the mouth and stays well after it's gone. It's true. I still I still taste it. Do you still taste it? <laughs> it brings a nice balance with vanilla, marshmallow cream, oak, and a warming bourbon. For sure I can taste Next beer is by Wild Barrel. It's called Vice Mont Morrisoni Cherries. It's a sour Berliner Weiss style beer. Let's say where it's from. It's from San Marcos, California. I have a bottle of over and you don't see a pink can of beer very often. Cute. Okay. Um, so the appearance is going to be almost fuchsia color and has a lovely rosy glow with some obscuring haze across the body. That sounds beautiful. Also, the spear has 5.2% of alcohol. I guess I should have told you the alcohol's percentages. Let me see. The first one, the black house. The black house was, what does it say? 5.8%. Here's your cherry sour. Okay, now the aroma for this will be sugary sweet with strong cherry scent. Okay. I can, I can see that. <laughs> it reminds me of something. Mild 
acidic vinegar quality and a whisper of sea salt. <laughs> Who writes these things? <laughs> um, cherry juice up front with sweetened pie crust underneath. Yum. Some moments of citrus and wheat. Lightly tart, crisp with a subtle briny finish. salty with a light watery feel. Mm, yeah, it gets like, it does get your mouth watering. Mm, okay. Let's try it with our donut. Raspberry top donut filled with peach jelly. Oh, it's like a lot of fresh peaches in there. Heavenly. How do you like the combination? Mmm. So good. Yum. I love that donut. Okay. Okay, on to our fourth beer. Okay, this is our fourth beer. Saison de Lis. It's a Belgian style brewed, a oh, Belgian style ale brewed with chamomile flowers. You can see all the little chamomile, chamomile flowers. Illustration looks like a, a lily in the middle. So pretty. Appearance is going to be clear golden yellow with a finely bubbled frothy white head that recedes slowly to a cap of foam 
and then eventually to become a thin layer on the surface while leaving some fluffy patches and scattered leggy lacing on the sides of the glass. golden yellow oh. Wow, yeah, it's like cartoon sun color of sunbeams. Alright. The aroma will be floral and spicy with a chamomile, some coriander, and some white pepper against a background that includes a touch of wheat and malt. Here's yours. I love Sassons too. Sassons are one of my favorite beers. What do you think of this beer? That's so good, right? Mm. Yeah, I love any kind of like a sweet and spicy beer. Mm. It's hard to pick a favorite. Mm. Lemon mango donut. Here you go. Mm. refreshing. I love citrusy, um, citrusy desserts. Alright, let's try with the beer. Mmm. It's almost like if you had, um, squeezed a lemon in there. Like, uh, put a little lemon in that gum real tea or something. It goes really nice. Minutes to get settled in. Oh, and I'll come find you to tell you the name of that lake. 